In this example, it says a boy throws a ball 30 meters per second vertically upward. So that's the initial velocity. How long does it take for the ball to hit the ground 2 meters below where he released it? So, uh, so this is the situation. So uh, he's throwing this ball vertically up in a position like this, like close to a cliff. So when he throws the ball up with that velocity, V0 equals three, 30 meters per second. The ball goes up, reaches its maximum height, and then it's gonna vertically fall down like this. So this is the final position. So this is the start position, start, And this is the end. And it says that if we consider this as our reference level, it says that this is 2 meters below the reference level. So since we consider this position as a vector, we need to include the sign when we put that position. 2 meters below means there's a negative sign. So that means I'm going to consider upward direction as my positive y direction. And also gravitational acceleration is always pointing down. A equals minus G, which is again numerically equal to minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So these are the first few things that you need to do in this problem just to get an idea of you know, what you need to do. And then uh, let's look at the information provided. V0 is given plus 30 meters per second. Uh, then the acceleration A is known, minus 9.8 meters per second squared. Um, and then uh, we need to find uh, the time because that's what they're asking time. Uh, we know Y0 is equal to zero y or y final is equal to minus 2 meters. So then we are going to use this equation. So I mean if you look at these uh, variables and constants, the, the correct kinetic uh, kinematic equation to be used to solve this problem is y minus y naught is equal to v naught t plus one half a t squared. But we already talked about this same equation where we substituted the value for the gravitational acceleration. So then you know this original equation becomes y minus y naught equals v naught t minus one half g t squared. So that's the equation that I'm going to use to solve this problem. So let me uh, write it over here. Y, I'm going to solve. Now I'm going to substitute the values. Okay. Y is minus 2 minus Y naught is this starting level. So that's 0 equals V naught is plus 30. And T is the time we need to figure out. So that means over here, that's the starting point. So t equals zero and the projectile or the object goes up. So it takes time and then hits the maximum height. That's velocity or speed instantaneously it becomes zero and it turns around and it falls down. And then we measure the time over here. So t equals, let's say, uppercase t. And that's what we need to find out. So I'll, I'll replace this T by uh, the uppercase T uh, like that. Okay. Minus, I have one half. I'm going to substitute for G 9.8 meters per second squared and T squared. Now remember, don't, uh, you know, substitute a minus sign again to this 9.8. The reason for that is we already did that when we moved from this step to this step. We already substituted the minus g. 
So whenever you have the G, you just put the number, numerical value 9.8. Okay, now I'm going to rearrange this so that I have a quadratic equation in time. So you can see um, this is like minus 4.9. I'm going to take it to the other side. So that's going to be 4.9 t squared. And then I'm going to take this 30 to the other side again. Uh, so that would be minus 30 t. And then there's a minus 2 over here. So now you can see we have a quadratic equation in time. And then you have to use the quadratic formula. Uh, if you look at my math primer, I already discussed how to apply the quadratic formula and figure out the roots or the solutions for that equation. So uh, you have to uh, look up that if you are struggling with the mathematics. However, I'm just going to write down the solutions uh, for this quadratic equation. So the value for t would be 6.8. 2 seconds up to 2 significant figures or it's going to be t equals minus 0 0.10. Okay, that's also up to 2 sig figs. So you can see time cannot be negative. Uh, so we are going to neglect this solution as uh, one of the uh, practical solutions. Then the only uh, solution that, uh, that we have is t equals 6.2 seconds. So that's our answer for this question.